What is up, Omash Nation? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing awesome, like always, and are ready for a CGC return. Guys, I think, if I remember right, we've only had one of these on the channel so far, so I'm excited because we got a lot. We got box number one, box number two, and the big box number three. Guys, the Omash Nation members who are a part of this CGC grade reveal are Ari, Danny, and Brian. Guys, be excited. I hope we get some killer grades today for your cards and that you're excited to get them back because really there's nothing better. So let's crack all this stuff out of the box and start checking out the cards in today's CGC reveal. All right, guys, unpacked, as you can see right in front of me, very beautiful way that CGC packages up their cards, makes it super nice. And let's just get started. The, there, so there were three orders, right? The bigger one was an economy service, which was sent back on November 1st. So it took a little over three months to get done. Not too terrible. And then we did have a standard submission and an express submission as well. The standard was sent on January 1st. The express was sent on January 16th. So pretty quick services, pr pretty good turnarounds. And now let's start with the older one, the bigger one. We're gonna start from the back here. Check it out, guys. I really do love the CGC slabs. We're just gonna, well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see the grade and the card right here uh, on the first go. Boom! Suspicious Food Tin 9.5 from Champion's Path. And look, guys, it is a true 9.5. Every single subgrade got the 9.5, so very nice gold secret rare right there. I believe that one is mine. Uh, for the bulk one, or the economy one, I did submit a bunch myself. Let's see if you guys like this one better. This one, we got a hop full art. Same, I believe these are all just Champion's Path, like, full arts and stuff. <laughs> we got... Oh, we actually got a 10 on something. Very hard to get 10s, and of course, it is not a perfect 10. 0.5 off from the perfect, so pristine 10 right there. Very nice. Hop, <laughs> the card no one really likes, but hey, I will take a 10 all day long. Very nice, hop, very nice. This one here, whoa, we got the grab locked, ugh. If anyone knows me and Graplock, we have some bad blood. <laughs> but we got for the grade, 9.5, very nice. These are all pack fresh, modern cards. I don't expect them to grade too badly. We got the Cursula, Galarian Cursula V this time. Beautiful card, love the colors in the back. A nine, interesting. The centering and the corners both got nines, which is weird, because the centering looks pretty good to me. <laughs> the back is a little off. But hey, they got all of the big boy ways to grade all their cards, right? Gardevoir, V, very nice, beautiful card. We got 9.5, I will take that all day long. Still a gem mint card, perfect. Let's see, what else? The Dreadnought, <laughs> really, this Dreadnought just looks kind of funky to me, like, you know how in anime they do like lazy drawing? <laughs> That's what this Dreadnought looks like to me. For the grade. 9.5, man, seriously, it's hard to get 10s with CGC. And then, oh, I almost turned it around without covering it. Piers Full Art, very nice. The Full Art Trainers are just booming right now. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I mean, they are some of my favorite cards, but don't know why the rest of the world is going nuts. We got 9.5, I will take it. Very cool, very nice. There's the first stack. We'll go from the back over here. Ooh, we got a Japanese card. I don't think this one's mine. Senescorch VMAX, very cool card. Can't remember the set that it's from. We got 9.5 once again. I will take that all day long, Gem Mint. <laughs> and I think this is my last card that I submitted with this. We have... Oh, uh, <laughs> Lunala GX Full Art, love the coloring of this, all purple, very sleek. And we got a nine to end off my cards, not too shabby. 10 on the corners, nines on all the other ones. Very cool, very cool. And now I believe we are going getting into Ari's cards. Let's get it right here. Good luck, my friend, on your grades. Gardevoir V, some people seriously love Gardevoir. Beautiful card, cool Pokemon. We got 
A nine, not too bad, not too bad. Very nice. Put that on the other end here. We got for the next one, ooh, Snorlax, VMAX. Oops, already kind of showed the grade. Love this card, love any Kanto Pokemon. My favorite region. And we got 9.5, very nice, I'll take that. It's tough to get these higher grades on uh, with CGC. Just from what I've been seeing anyway. Ooh, Charizard, Vivid Voltage pre-release style. That is awesome, absolutely love this artwork. We got a nine. Looks like it was the centering that brought this one down, 8.5, and you can see it. It is a little off, but hey, beautiful card, beautiful slab. None of these slabs are breaking on us, <laughs> so that is good. Um, I believe, from what I heard, CGC has fixed that problem. Charizard V, Full art promo, beautiful card. We get an 8.5, oof. Tough on the promo card, but you can see why. This is why I love subgrades, guys. 8.5 all around except for the surface got a nine. And you can see that top, that surface is just pretty rough right there. But yeah, a lot of these promos, because they were just thrown into the ETBs, they were just kind of, you know, damaged. <laughs> Not hard, perfect cards. Ooh, this is a card you don't see every day. A Ho-Oh EX, very nice full art card. Ho-Oh, one of my favorite legendary Pokemon. Obviously, Lugia is better. <laughs> but we got for the grade a nine, very nice. 2016 Breakpoint, two tens. That 8.5 centering is what brought it down. And you can see it, the right side is thicker than the left. But awesome, love seeing cards that you don't really see too often. Very cool, very cool. Not too, not doing too bad with the grades. Ooh, one of my favorite cards in Darkness Ablaze, the Scizor VMAX. We get a nine, very cool. Mint Scizor VMAX, seriously, I've pulled so many of those guys and I'm getting them all graded, I love Scizor. Ooh, classic, oops. Butterfree VMAX, not VMAX, V, love the orange background and he's just flying at you, speedy boy. <laughs> For the grade we get 9.5, very cool. A true 9.5 with all four subgrades. Guys, this is why subgrades are just the best. You see exactly why you got the grade that you did. I seriously wish PSA would bring subgrades in, but at this point, <laughs> they've been doing it for 20 years. They can't just add it uh, to their labels or everyone for the last 20 years who's, who has PSA cards would be upset. <laughs> you just can't do something like that. Unless you offer like free swapping, but that's not gonna happen because that would cost them so much money. Charizard VMAX from Darkness of Blade, Lo love this card. Here we go. Oh, pristine 10 with the Charizard VMAX, 0.5 away on the surface. Somewhere on this bad boy, we have the tiniest little Nick. <laughs> Seriously, 0.5 from perfect. That is a steal, my friend. Congrats, pristine 10. Still have not gotten a perfect 10 on the channel, but maybe one day we will. Oh, little upgrade here. We got the rainbow Charizard VMAX. If we can get this guy in a 10, that would be absolutely awesome. Oh, 9.5, so close. The centering is what brought you down. Everything else was perfect. Oh, doesn't that just kind of make you mad? You can see it though, this side is thicker than that. Man, tough, tough, but beautiful card. Look at that, guys. I love the way it looks in this CGC slab. I'm a fan of the clear plastic. I obviously do love PSA. I grade with them the most, <laughs> but I do like what CGC is doing with the clear stuff, and the English Cenoscorch VMAX. Let's see if it beats my Japanese one. Boom! Oh, what'd I get? It matches, 9.5, very nice card. Cenoscorch, one of the cooler new Pokemon, for sure. We will get these guys out of the way, and then three cards left. Let's see what we can do. This first one, we can already see ugh, this foam gets everywhere. We can see some tougher corners. Man, we can see some spotting and stuff on the back of the card. There's kind of a, it's not a dent, it's not a crease, but there's something right there. So not expecting the best grade with this, but let's see what it is. Oh my gosh, classic, guys. We can see scratches on the hollow, but I bet, well, what is that? Oh, that is just on the outside. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this foam just uh, peels everywhere. 
beautiful card. Oh, Dark Charizard, first edition. Absolutely love this guy. One of my favorite cards as a child. Oh, I could stare at this all day. But <laughs> I will stop holding you guys in suspense. We got a 6.5, not terrible, not great. But hey, it is still excellent to near mint. The corners, which we saw, the back, they were pretty rough, and the edges, seven. The surface got a 5.5, so somewhere on here, other than the scratches, there's kind of like a dent thing going right there. So yeah, I feel like it, you know, pretty deserving of the grade, but hey, it's not always about those perfect cards. I bet this guy had some serious love, and has been through the ringer, and that is what makes it even cooler, guys. I love cards with a little past. <laughs> Very nice right there. We'll keep that right in front as we get into the second one. Let's see. Same dealio. We got some tougher edges um, right along there. You can see at the top, no major creases from what I'm seeing. Everything else looks good. What card is this? Oh, it is the base set Charizard. Look at that classic hollow right there, guys. Beautiful. This card will just always give me the chills. Oh, so classic, unlimited. The card that I could just never have as a kid, even though I wanted it so bad. <laughs> For this grade, we get, well, actually, let's, yeah. You can see scratches and stuff on the hollow. So it might be similar to the dark Charizard, but it's all good because now it is protected for life. <laughs> we got a seven, so a little better. Surface got a six, centering 9.5 and nine, or nine corners, nine edges, nine. So pretty good overall. It was just that surface grade that brought it down, but hey, seven is a near mint card. And guys, that is beautiful. Look at that. That's like thumbnail worthy. Good job. Thank you for letting me grade that for you, seriously. Nothing better than protecting the cards that you love. And the last card of the day looks pretty good to me. We have, ooh, Rainbow Salamence VMAX. Beautiful card, awesome Pokemon. I love Dragon type Pokemon. And this guy competed with my Dragonite back in the day. <laughs> It was always a battle between Dragonite or Salamence, which one I liked better, but Dragonite overall, always Dragonite. For the last card of today, we have a 9.5, way to go. So close to the 10s, we got 9.5 surface and edges, 10s on the corners, absolutely beautiful. I love the modern style of hollow. I mean, look at that sparkle, look at that rainbow. It looks so good, no matter what way or angle you're looking at it. Congratulations, guys. Thank you so much for using my middleman service, trusting me with your collections, and I'm so glad that we can get those graded for you and protected for good. That's what it's all about, treating the things that you love right. So guys, if any of you out there have cards that you want to get submitted, Feel free to message me on any of my social medias or email. I am always responding, always available to help out the Omash Nation. I absolutely love this. And seriously, these reveal videos are the best of times. I hope you enjoyed it. CGC is making big moves. And seriously, I just see CGC going up and up and up. But guys, you're all awesome. Have the best rest of the day. And I will catch you next time.